my husband, Michael, who, uh, Dr. Harris, uh, will be doing his halo today. Has husband and wife that halo together stay together? Is that what we said, honey? Yeah, sure. All right. And so we'll get started with the halo in a bit. So the first thing uh, I'm doing here is measuring the face. You just use the halo to mark a surface area of what we're doing because the halo will reach a certain heat level. And that's sort of what makes the face feel warm as you do the procedure. Halo. What I like about Halo, and I say it over and over again, is in five days you're going to look great, but the Halo will continue to work, and a month from now, and even three months from now, you'll look in the mirror and be like, it's just great. you know, it just keeps getting better. And not many aesthetic procedures can say that. It's a very versatile uh, treatment because I can adjust it to this cheek, to that cheek, you know, and just do what I need to do all in one sitting and with one machine. I will say that the thing about COVID was um, Mike has always been an advocate for my aesthetic office, but uh, he was never really into doing procedure if he thought that this wasn't something that needed to do. But when he started doing teleconferencing during COVID, he came up to me and was like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. And so he yeah. had Halo. And now all his clients are asking, what did you do and how do I get that? Yeah, part of me just wants to say, oh, it's just good living, genetics. But, you know, in reality, I have to say yes, I got my face lasered. Yeah. yeah. When we went to, uh, you know, several aesthetic conferences and laser conferences, uh, practices would say that they only have a small percentage of men in their practice. And I'm happy to say that I have a really good number of men coming in. I think the stigma is slowly disappearing. I think especially in Florida, we start to value the importance of taking care of the largest organ of your body, which is your skin. It will really work on a lot of different conditions. So even with acne scars, before we used to do procedures, or we still do procedures called pro cracking and things which are really a lot of downtime, but I've been really working with Halo on different settings, um, and I have found such good results with even acne scarring for teenagers as young 20 year olds. Um, and like I said, there's different settings for Halo, so if you would come in with sort of issues um, where before I would have to offer a severe peel uh, to fix your face, Sometimes I can get away with doing a halo. So there's no wrong age per se. Um, but, you know, again, I, the youngest I've done is teenagers in my practice. So halos, the average person could get away with doing it every year. And winter's a good time because you're not in the sun. But we do ours at least twice a year just because um, before the holidays, we're always like, let's get ready for our family photos, and then we'll do it again sometime in the beginning of the year. Yeah, I've been getting lacrosse practice tonight, and somebody will ask me, did you get some sun? And they won't really know what, what happened. What happened, yeah. And I was at the gym today. I mean, my life is back to normal. But if somebody has a specific area, like let's say you had acne scarring here, 
I would do the full halo and then I'd go back and do a different setting on that area just to get a deeper treatment. The great thing about it, it's uh, colored wine, so I can go into a hairline if I need to and it doesn't cause hair loss. What's left of the hairline? What's left of your hairline? Too. That's right. You're still rocking it. <laughs> Some clients who do have a beard and don't want to shave it, and we have just had one, um, we will do it all the area except for the beard area. I don't understand, but some men just don't want to get rid of their beard, and that's perfectly fine. If you've always been that way, you know, I'm not going to knock it, so we'll just go to the cheek. But that halo doesn't remove hair, right? It does not remove hair, but okay. if it's a full beard, I definitely don't want a halo on that beard. He is all done. So awesome. this is immediately post halo. This guy just came out of a movie theater. <laughs> right. So now we'll just put um, like I said, we use nectar here from Elastin. And so we'll put nectar on his face now. Tonight he'll wash his face and reapply it. And that's pretty much it other than you know, general cleansers. How does that feel? Good. Feels like butter. Feels like it just had a little slight sunburn. And I'm a baby, so that's saying something. You're not a baby. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Hope you guys have a good day.